on the shore of Lake Erie. We bring you our game from Cleveland, Ohio. Welcome to this battle between division rivals from the AFC North. Cleveland squares off against Pittsburgh. The teams have taken the field and lined up for the kickoff, and they're ready to get this one started. Edinger comes in to kick off to start the game. Moss back to return. This one is fielded by Moss. So the offense sets up for its first drive of the game. John, this one will really challenge the offensive coordinators as they go up against two of the best defenses in the NFL. Both of these teams have championship caliber defense. I think if you talk to most coaches in the league today, building a Super Bowl team starts with great defense. Henderson goes in motion. Looking upfield. McGee is there on the stop at the 26. Number 32 kept his legs moving, gets seven hard earned yards. Ball on their own 26. Ball on the 26 yard line. I can do it, baby. Regular. Watch out. The Browns come out in a 4 3. They'll bring the blitz. Gets the pass off. McGee comes up to make the play at the 34. He did a good job breaking off his route when he saw the blitz coming. That's exactly the kind of thing you want to do. You want to make the adjustment and give your quarterback a target when you see them sending extra guys on a blitz. It's on! Cleveland comes out in a 4-3. Can't bring it in. Burgess is there on the stop at the 39-yard line. Number 32 picks up some tough yards there. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Steelers come out with the receivers bunched on both sides. Gets the toss to the left. Burgess is there for the tackle. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 41 yard line. Only one man back. With the counter play. He just unloaded on him. Not getting the first down that will probably bring out the punter. Williams comes into the game for the punt. Welker sets up, waiting for the punt. From the 19. 38 yard punt, return for a gain of three yards. They'll take over at the 23 yard line. First and 10. Here we go. You got to believe it. They line up in the eye formation. Blitz is coming. Closing in. Gets rid of it. And he hits his target. And Blitz exploited for a first down. Yeah, the quarterback did a heck of a job to read what the defense was doing and find the right guy. First Ball on their ten. own 37. Ball on the 37 yard line. Keep moving. Let's Out of the eye go. formation. We turn it up. One of us will make a play. And off to the tailback. The 50. Johnson is there for the tackle at the 46-yard line. The veteran with a good game. He's taken his share of licks over the years. That hasn't stopped him from busting off long gainers like that every now and then. First Ball on the 46-yard line. Ball on the 46-yard line. Watch this. I'll come through, baby. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. This 
one will be spotted at the 47 yard line. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackler. He'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. Ball on the 47 yard line. Hey, let's go one deep. Here we go, baby. The backs are lined up in an eye. Bosses it right. Houston comes up to make the play at the 47. He didn't hit the hole with much conviction on that one. Third down play here. They have to get it to the 36. Hill using split back. Under pressure. Fires this one deep. Drops the interception. Deep throw, nearly picked off. When you've got a receiver who wins a lot of jump ball situations, you've got to throw it deep to him. That time, the defender got the better jump. Graham is ready to pump this one away. Moss will go back to accept this punt. And he waves for the fair catch. First Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Ain't no fence. They ain't got nothing. You gotta have it. The Browns come out in a 4 3. Blue down, blue down. Hand it off to the back. Watson is there for the tackle. Number 32. Rumbles forward for a gain of four. Ball on their own 23. Ball on the 23 yard line. Let's go now. Here we come. The Browns line up at a 4 3. Stepping up. And here's the thing. Now the defense gets into the backfield, but you got to be able to move your feet, avoid the rush, to give yourself a little more time. He just didn't do it. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong. We're talking about The defense lines up in the nickel. Drops back. Gets the pass off. Right on target to the wide receiver. Greenwood comes up to make the play at the 35-yard line. is there for the tackle at the 44 and now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today second and one ball on the 44 yard stay both left the Browns come out in a 4-3 on the carry can't get it from behind Swan is there on the stop at the 48 this is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and he keeps moving forward. I tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. Two. I like how this big guy can run with the football. Yeah, and this fullback can do more than just get out there and lead block. Give him the ball and watch him rumble. Ball on the 42-yard line. Ball on the 42-yard line. No stop, no stop that motor. We turn it up. Silver, 28, so low. Watch this. 
give it to the halfback. Greenwood is there for the tackle at the 36. Johnny was able to get away from a defender who broke into the backfield to get the first down. If you get into an opponent's backfield, you've got to make the stop. And this is the eighth play of this drive. Only one man in the backfield. Gives the ball off. Redmond is there on the stop at the 29. When your offensive line is getting a good push up front, it's a lot easier to pick up yardage on the ground. Second and maybe three. Ball on the 29 yard line. Clear! Clear! What screen? The Browns line up in a 4 3. Looking for something long. Nearly intercepted. Oh, man, he had it in the end zone, but dropped it. That's the second worst thing that can happen to a defender, to drop one like that. The absolute worst thing is to have your man beat you for six. And this is the tenth play of this drive. Ball on the 29-yard line. Harrison sends a man in motion. Hand it off. Strickland takes him down before he can get the first. Number 32 is just short of the marker that should bring in the field goal unit. David Akers will try to give his team the lead with his field goal attempt. The veteran connecting for the field goal. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. Booming kick downfield. This one is fielded by Welker. So after being forced to punt the last time they had it, the offense heads back out onto the field. The Browns will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. The Steelers with a four-man front. Hand off to the tailback. Bradford is there for the tackle at the 30. A successful running attack requires good blocking up front to be effective. Second and short. Ball on the 30-yard line. Westbrook, the deep back. Going to the right. Thompson comes up to make the play at the 29. Good play by the linebacker to get into the backfield and stop the play for no gain. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of film and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a play. Third, Third and one, one coming up on this play. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Growing. Ooh, nearly picked one. It was almost like the defenders were in the huddle on that zero. They hit a roadblock with everything they tried. Graham will come in now to punt it away. Moss looks like he's ready for the return. From the 31. Moss doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with getting it to the 39-yard line. At the one quarter of play, the score is 3-0. Steelers. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Ball on their own 39. The drive at the 39-yard line. First and 10. Number 32, the lone back. Uh, the counterplay. 
Walker comes up to make the play at the 46-yard line. This is one of those games where you just keep running it at him. Four yards here, five yards there, loosen him up, and then wham. You knock him out late in the game with that long touchdown run. So that play goes for about six. The Browns come out in a 4-3. Dropping back. Throws it. And this pass is complete. Number 49 is there on the stop at the 35. Good throw, good catch to move the chains. You know, as a receiver, all you have to do is get a step. And this guy's going to put the ball on you. First ball on the 35-yard line. Ball on the 35-yard line. Regular. We like to press the rules. Play it up. Play it Only up. one man back. Hot. Hot. pass on first down. Conversion Pressure. Man. Looking for something long. This one falls incomplete. He threw it a little too soon, and it missed the mark. The pass rush almost got to him. I don't think he ever had a chance to set his feet. I'll tell you one thing. This defensive coach sure has his defensive lineman pumped up. Second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. That's strong. One of us going to make a play. The Browns line up in a 4-3. Watson is there for the tackle at the 35-yard line. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. Third down here as they try to get it inside the 25-yard line to convert. The Browns 19. come out in a dime package. All day, baby. Come on. Keep moving. There it comes. With the pass. This one falls incomplete. Good call by the defense as they sent the corner on a blitz. He just had too much pressure in his face to see anything, and he threw one out there. Lucky for him, it wasn't picked off. Akers needs to hit this one perfectly to have a chance. The kick goes wide and off the mark. Second and ten. Ball on the 35. After the missed field goal, they'll set up shots at the 42 yard line. The Steelers with a four man front. He hands it off. Johnson is there on the stop at the 45. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Just about a three-yard game. Second and seven. Ball on the 45-yard line. Turn it up now. They'll go from the shotgun. Dropping back with the throw. And he hits his target. Number 26 comes up to make the play at the 43-yard line. First Ball on the 43-yard line. Ball on the 43-yard line. Don't make the play! Stay on the line! The rush is on. Pressure coming. The defense likes to keep the pressure on. They'll bring extra guys on an overloaded side hoping for turnover opportunities. Number 26 returns to the game after being shaken up earlier. Westbrook, the lone back, with the pass, and he makes the grab. Lloyd is there for the tackle at the 41. He found a soft spot in the coverage, John. The receiver did a great job reading the coverage. He found a hole in the zone, and the quarterback found him in that hole with the pass. Third, Third down on the spot, they'll have to reach for a first is the 33. Here we go. The defense lines up in the nickel with the throw. Right on target to the wide receiver. The defense blitzes the corner, but the quarterback got rid of it quickly for a completion and a first down. That was a great play because he saw him coming, remained calm, and threw an accurate pass. First Ball on the 24-yard line. Ball on the 24-yard line. Here I go. Come on. Get it up. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. 
Robertson is there on the stop at the 24-yard line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Ball on the 24-yard line. What's the hard count? Keep moving. Tucks it away. Thompson is there for the tackle. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on. Gain of two. The 14-yard line is where they have to go to pick up the first down. Hey, let's go. Throws it. Drop in the backfield for a short Good solid tackle by the corner, and they'll be stuck well short of the marker on third down. Paul Edinger to tie this game up if the field goal is good. It's good. The Browns have tied the game. Edinger will be kicking off. Good distance. This one is taken by Moss. Their kicker missed a field goal attempt on the last drive. Let's see what happens this time around. First and 10. At the 22 yard line. First and 10. Here we go. Number 32, the long setback. To carry it. This one will be spotted at the 23-yard line. He found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. Ball on their own 23. Ball on the 23-yard line. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Cleveland goes with a four-man front. Closing in with the pass. Number 30 is there on the stop at the 25-yard line. Harrison with a three-yard completion. That'll bring up third down. Third it's third and down seven. and seven to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Cleveland comes out in their nickel package. Hey, watch the screen. Bosses it right. Number 49 comes up to make the play at the 27. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. He'll line up for what will be his second punt of the game. They'll spot this one where it went out. First Almost at the two minute mark Ball now. -yard line. Come on. No, one, one, one. The Browns line up in the box formation. Sanders is there on the stop at the 39-yard line. The defensive tackle surged through the line to bring the runner down. Two minutes left in the quarter. Ball on the 39-yard line. Nothing, nothing. The Steelers line up in a 4 3. Johnson is there for the tackle. I like to hurry up here. It's a change of pace, and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. Dropping back with the throw. It was tipped. 
The defense was coming after him on that play. He knew he didn't have much time, and he decided to get rid of the ball quickly on that one. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 18-yard line. The Ball on their own 18. Start the drive at the 18-yard line. First and 10. The Browns come out of the 4-3. He gets the handoff on the delay. Here's a no huddle. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. Not today. Here we go. Drops back. Under pressure. Throwing. This one falls incomplete. They dropped additional people into the secondary, but still generated an excellent pass rush. And that gives you a lot of flexibility calling your defense. If the guys up front are good at creating pressure, then you don't have to blitz as often, giving you the ability to double cover an opponent's best receiver. The Browns come out in a nickel package. It's a blitz with the pass, and it's caught. Number 49 is there on the stop. Number 83 can't find a way to advance it to the first down marker. Welker is back to receive this kick. This one goes out of bounds. First Ball on their own 23. Ball on the 23-yard line. Watch out. The Steelers with a four-man front. Blue down, blue down. Blitz is coming. Three. Throwing. Incomplete. The pass was a little underthrown. Sometimes you just hang on to the ball for a second too long. As a defensive lineman, you love this because you know they're going to be passing. So you don't worry about a play pass or a handoff or anything like that. You just rush the passer. Hey, don't think the quarterback doesn't know that because he'll let the ball fly before he gets sacked by one of those guys. Dropping back, throws it, and it's caught. Floyd is there on the screen at the 30. You know what this does? It keeps one defense on the field. And it doesn't let them get the right personnel in there sometimes. We're at the one minute mark. Ball on the 30 yard line. Hey, let's go. Let's turn it up. The Steelers line up at a 4 3. Dragged down from behind. Great job getting in there to drag the quarterback down, and he picks up the sack. And he'll make two or three plays like that in just about every game. Graham comes into the game for the punt. Moss back to return. From the 40-yard line. Moss doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with, getting it to midfield. Ball at midfield. Ball on the 50-yard line. Here we come. What screens, Get Going to the air on first down. Pressure, throwing, and it's caught. Greenwood is there on the stop. A successful the offense. offense is one that can run and throw for good yardage on first down. Second, Second and, and about one. Ball on the 41-yard line. Oh, one, one, one. Watch the snap down. Only one man in the backfield. Drops back, steps up. He can't get away. Fumble. 
Here are the numbers when it comes to third down conversions. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Redman comes up to make the play at the 19-yard line. What they're doing here is keeping the defense from huddling up. It keeps the same defense on the field. Here comes the blitz. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. Knocked away. He had to unload that pass in a hurry. Yeah, he felt those guys closing in and gunning the ball out of there. We need to watch the guys up front on this play. They're going to be passing. And the best thing the defense can do here is to get some pressure on the quarterback. Either throw a pick or taking him down for the sack. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the quarter. Trying for the end zone before halftime. Touchdown, Steelers. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and a touchdown. The point after is good. They have a one touchdown lead now. Williams looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Squib kick short. A mistake by the kicker on that one. Kick off out of bounds. Number six. The First team down. with the most discipline is the team that doesn't commit stupid penalties. And they're the team that usually executes better. First Ball on their own 40. Ball on the 40-yard line. No pass on first down. Gets the pass off. Almost intercepted. Right. And this should be the last play of the half. The 40 yard line. Hold the look. Bring it up. Bring it up. Out of the shotgun. With the pass. Almost picked off. At, At the, the end, end of two, the down, score is 10 3. Is Steelers. 10, Cleveland. 3. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. So both teams have come back out of the field as we get set for the second half. This one is taken by Welker. So we have first and ten here at the 20-yard line. First and ten. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Throwing. It's going the other way. He read the quarterback just right and got a better jump on the ball than the receiver did. And receivers need to be aware of the corners at all times. You know, sometimes you see the guy waiting for the ball to get to him, and that's when the corner steps right up and gets a pick. First After the interception, they'll set up shot at the 18-yard line. Will, Will, Will. Come on. They'll make this a two-possession game if they get into the end zone on this drive. They're just inside the 20. McGee is there on the stop at the 10. He's very consistent running the ball. He's given them a solid rushing attack today.
10 yards away from the end zone. On the 10 yard line. One back. Cleveland using three linebackers. Number 30 is there for the tackle. Number 32 takes it up the middle for a yard or two. So on third down, they'll be looking to get it to the eight yard line or further. Gets the pass off, catches it. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Touch veteran is able to come down with a pass in the end zone. This is what good, experienced receivers do. They excel when they're given the opportunity to make big plays. Akers comes in to attempt the point after. The point after is good. They've now scored 14 unanswered points. And they're doing a good job executing on both the offensive and the defensive side of the ball right now. I'm thinking they're going to keep this run going. Williams comes in to kick off. Walker back to return. Nice distance. This one is fielded by Welker. Been a rough start to this game, but they still have enough time to turn it around. The ball on their own 20. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. The Browns line up in trips bunch. Johnson is there for the tackle at the 26. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Second and four. Ball on the 26 yard line. Get going. Let's go, boys. The Steelers line up in a 4 3. I can do it, baby. Get me going. Keep the throttle down. Let's run, man. Let's turn it up, Pete. Looking to run it here. Robertson is there on the stop at the 30-yard line. So he picks up about five on that run, moving the chains in the process. The line did a great job there of blocking the backside pursuit, which helped them get the first down. Ball on their own 30. Ball on the 30-yard line. Not today. Give it to the halfback. Johnson comes up to make the play at the 31. Unusual call in this situation, John. Generally, you're going to see a pass of some kind in that situation. Ball on their own 31. Ball on the 31 yard line. Here I go. Come on. The Steelers line up at a 4 3. Thompson is there for the tackle at the 33 yard line. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Ball on their own 33. Ball on the 33 yard line. Here we go, guys. The Steelers come out of a nickel pack. Houston is there on the stop at the 45. Westbrook pushing his way through the would-be tacklers. He picks up solid yardage. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Watch it. Nothing. He'll pass on first down. With the pass, drops the interception. That was a good play. Turned bad play. Good because their zone defense worked well. Bad because he dropped the interception. That's one he wishes he could have back. Second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Get it up! Johnson, the lone back, 
Hill sends a man in motion. They'll bring the blitz. Gets rid of it. Right to the back. Johnson is there for the tackle at the 44-yard line. That's three times on this drive they've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. Eighth play of this drive. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Bring it up, bring it up. They're coming with the blitz. With the pass, no one near his receiver. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. I like the quick decision by the quarterback. The defense didn't have time to react. Picked up 10 yards. And this is the ninth play of this drive. Yeah, you see me. The Steelers with a four-man front. Showtime, baby. They give it to the halfback. They'll spot this one at the 23. That's a 12-yard game. This is the 10th play of this drive. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. With a counter play. They're going to spot this one at the 21-yard line. That's his third tackle of the contest. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. Ball on the 21-yard line. Ball on the 21-yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Don't make the play. He tucks it away. Thompson comes up to make the play. At the 18-yard line, Westbrook rumbles forward for a gain of four. And this is the 12th play of this drive. They're inside the 20. to get some points on this drive and are in good position now to do that as they're in the red zone. They jumped early and got flagged. Encroachment number 99. So he's called for encroachment. The defense needs to concentrate better than that. Nothing frustrates a coach more than a penalty like that. And that penalty could be very costly as it moves the offense into scoring range. The rush is on. Closing in. Williams drags him down behind the line. Great play from the defensive back. He's such a disruptive force against the pass, whether he's coming after the quarterback or knocking the ball out of the air. 13th play of this drive. Let's see what they can do in the red zone. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. He gets the carry. Number 26 is there for the tackle at the 19-yard line. Fourteenth play of this drive inside the red zone. Westbrook, the lone back. Dropping back. Under pressure. Goes to the end zone. It's batted away. You talk about a big play. <laughs> you don't get any bigger than that. Frazier was his intended target. Paul Edinger lines up for about a 36-yard field goal attempt. The try is good. Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown. So getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't. So the next drive, we'll get him a TD. Edinger will be kicking off. Moss back deep to return. This one is taken by Moss. 
The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll take their own 21. The 21 yard line. First and 10. So we gonna take it. You turn it up. Watch it. The Browns with a four-man front. They give it to the halfback. Watson comes up to make the play. At the 22. The defense held their positions and didn't let him get very far. Second and nine. Ball on the 22 yard line. Cleveland lines up with seven guys in the secondary. And he makes the grab. Who is there for the tackle? Number 83 makes the catch, but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. Third, Third down and long coming up here. Got to keep our fours here. Do do the Browns come out of the nickel back. Pumps once. Got to him as he throws. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. Welker into return. From the 30 cents. This is where you want to respond quickly, or this could turn into a battle for field position. First and ten. Start the drive at the 41-yard line. First and ten. Clear! Clear! The Steelers with a four-man front. Bradford got very good penetration there. This defense has some good speed. When you try something to the outside and you fail to get those outside guys blocked, well, you're in trouble. Second and 15. Ball on the 36-yard line. Temple! Regular. Keep moving. The Browns come out with three receivers tight. Rolling right, throws on the run. The pass is picked off. That was a cover two scheme. Its basic premise is to keep the play in front of you. You can take calculated risks because you know someone has your back. So they're ready to go on offense Ball after on the, the interception. Yard. They'll start at the 48. One back. Going. Go Number 32, the lone back. It's on. Each other back. Here we go. I can do it, baby. They're blitzing, throwing. And he hits his target. And so a risky call to send the corner back fires, and they give up a first down. Some quarterbacks love blitzing corners because they know that there's one less cover man out there and they have a lot better shot at hitting someone in stride. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. They soft, man. Watch this. On the call. Watson is there for the tackle. Gain of two. Gain of two on the play. Second, Second and eight. eight. Ball on the 31 yard line. Bring it up, bring it up. We're talking about number 32, the deep back. With the counter play, he's brought down behind the line for a short loss. They wanted to pound it through the middle, but they got pounded for a loss. I'll tell you, that was a perfect time for these guys to call a blitz. They got in there, filled the gap, and brought down the back for a loss. It's third down, and they have to get it to the 23 to convert. Let's go! At the end of three, the score is 17-6. The Steelers. 17. The Browns. 6. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. 
Third it's third down. They have to get it to the 23 the to convert. Got to keep our points here. Don't be fooled now. Uh -huh. Not that much. Uh -huh. Gets the delayed handle. This one will be spotted at the 30-yard line. He wraps him up and now has four tackles. A conservative play call there as they stay on the ground but come up well short due to a fine stop by the defensive end. David Akers comes in to try what should be about a 47-yard field goal. The kick is good. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. Sends it sailing. This one is handled by Welker. This is where all your guys on offense have to step up and make plays. Time's running out, and they're facing a pretty large deficit. So this is where you're going to have to try and execute and come up with a little luck, maybe. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. First and 10. One of us will make a play. No more, fellas. They line up in the I formation. I know. Let's run. Tucks it away. You're going to spot this one at the 20 yard line. He got in there and made the tackle on the his fourth of the game. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Defense, get ready. Turn it up now. The Steelers come out in a dime package. Pressure looking for something long. And he dropped it. Well, There's not one wide receiver who can ever claim he's never dropped a pass. It's just part of the game. Third and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. What screen? Westbrook, the lone setback. With the throw. Knocked down. Look at a big old defensive lineman. He does a heck of a job of getting in the passing lane and knocking down the pass. yard line. Moss takes the punt to the 47 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 47 yard line. The Browns come out in a 4 3. Moss played to the left. They'll spot this one at midfield. He stopped him there, and according to our numbers, that's tackle number six for him. Ball at about midfield. Ball on the 50 yard line. we're going to take it. Lucky got it back. Lucky, lucky. Seven defensive backs in on this one. Pressure coming. Wraps him up and brings him down. The defense loves to bring extra rushers from all over trying to create pressure. Obviously, they'll have to make some adjustments to their protection scheme to prevent plays like that. It's now third and long after the set. On the 46-yard line. Cleveland comes out in the quarter defense. A little misdirection. Slips the tackle. Number 49 is there on the stop. At the 49-yard line. McGee is getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline and we'll get you an injury report as quickly as possible.
Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. Fair catch. If they want a shot in this one, they got to put something together on this drive. There just isn't much time left. First, First and ten. ten. The injury sustained earlier was minor, and they expect him to return to the game after a series or two. Hill sends a man in motion. Hand it off. Kelly comes up to make the play at the 24. Westbrook at the delayed handoff and gains about three. McGee was taken out earlier with a minor injury, but now returns to the game. Here we go, baby. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. Gets the pass off. Houston records the tackle at the 30. Hill will be facing a third down now after that pass next six. Third and under a yard. Ball on the 30 yard line. One of us will make a play. Bring it up. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Someone gets a hand up and it drops to the ground. What the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes or cluing. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got him an interception. Graham is ready to punt this one away. Moss lines up deep for the punt return. And he waves for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 29-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. The Browns come out of the nickel back. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. The offensive line didn't get much of a push on that play, and the runner is stuffed. As soon as he got the ball, there was a defender in his face to knock him down. Second and 13. Ball on the 26-yard line. Come on. Number 32, the lone back. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. He was really hit hard on that play. Number 83, didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. Ball on their own 31. Ball on the 31-yard line. Watch the snap down. Number 32, the lone setback. Harrison sends a man in motion. Closing in, throws it. Incomplete. He was pressured as the defense forced the issue. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. From the 29. Welker doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with, getting it to the 36. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Steelers come out in a nickel back. With the pass, nearly intercepted. Johnson had his hands on it. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. Second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Let's go, D. Let's go. Set. Hut. Drops back. Under pressure. With the throw. Comes up with it. Bradford comes up to make the play at the 48-yard line. This is what they have to do. 
keep making completions down the field and move the chains. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. Pressure. Veteran slips in there and gets the sack. Yeah, you still got to give him a lot of respect. His moves haven't diminished that much, and he still makes impact plays. Now they're looking at second and long after the sack. The Browns come out in the bunch formation. Play action. Gets the pass off. Incomplete pass. That could have resulted in a big play, but instead, it's third down. Third and long. Ball on the 42-yard line. They got nothing. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Gets rid of it. This pass is incomplete. He appeared to feel the pressure there. So many passing attacks in the NFL rely on timing. When you can put pressure on the passer, you never give him a chance to get into a rhythm. And you force him to throw the ball before he wants to. Graham will come in now to punt it away. Moss is the deep return man. He signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 18-yard line. They'll take over at the 18-yard line. First and 10. Stay at home on the 10, 10. They've got receivers bunched together on both sides of the board. Watson comes up to make the play. At the 20-yard line, number 32. Takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Second Almost at the two-minute mark now. Ball on the 20-yard line. Let's ride, man. So we're going to take it. The Browns the come out in a 4-3. Let's go. Let's go. One of us will make a play. Let's go. Hey, watch that screen. Watch screen. Check it. Watch the hard count. And we've reached the two minute mark. All on the 20 yard line. The Browns with a four man front. He's off to the tailback, dropped in the backfield for a short loss. He tried to pick his way through the middle, but there was no room. Yeah, he was looking for a hole or a gap, but the defensive line sealed everything up. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Not today. The Browns come out in a 4-3. On the ground. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. A third down run, not enough to keep the drive alive, so the punting team coming in. There's nothing wrong with trying to grind it out in the fourth quarter when you're playing with a lead. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Williams comes into the game for the punt. Welker sets up. Waiting for the punt. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 41 yard line. The Browns will start the drive at the 41 yard line. First and 10. Watch the snap now. The Steelers come out in a dime package. Dropping back the pass on first down. Trying something to the left. Picked off. Big mistake by the Adams. We've updated our turnover stat, and it looks like this.
First so and after the interception now it's first and ten. The Browns line up in a 4-3. Hands it off. McGee is there for the tackle. Trying to find something in the middle. Nothing open. I tell you, the guys up front got outworked on that one. They got knocked off the line and they never recovered. Second and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Browns come out in a 4-3. It's on. Hold the look. Knock him out. You got to believe it. It's on, Jay. Ain't no fence. Check it out, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Bring it up. Bring it up. Get it, get it, get it. Watson is there on the stop. Called by the defense. Number 32 takes it up the middle for a yard or two. All day, baby, come on! Keep your hand up, big boy. Make him go short. From the start, from the start. Watch the slap down. Not here. Not here. He'll just take a knee. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. Spot this one where it went out. Right. First and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. You gotta have it, D. We're coming to the left. Watch the play. Yeah. Hey, pass three. on first down. Uh. Trying something to the left. Incomplete. Welker was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Number 26 was there on the coverage. Second and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. Let's go now. Let's go. Be through. Pressure coming. Off balance throw. Ooh, nearly picked off. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. Third and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. Watch out. Hill starts out of the shotgun. Dropping back. Closing in. Launching the pass deep down the right side. The pass ball is incomplete. So this could be the last play of the game. Here we go, baby. They'll bring the blitz. Fires this one deep. Almost intercepted. Not a lot of points, but not close either. Two touchdowns separating the two teams. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.